Hello, lovelies. Lovelies. Lovely, lovely, say that you're lovely. Use me, use me, go on and use me. I don't care about anyone but you. Hi, Larry Jackson. Hi, Brittany. Hey, y'all, what's up? Hi, Ch Chell. Chell, hello, Chell. Hi. How's Chell doing today? Hi, Kelly Jean. We're going to find a restaurant. I have a couple in mind. Hi, Rosalina. Hi, Selena. Hi, Lucilla. Lucilla? Jessica. Kelly, hi, Callie girl, Tiff, Rachel, Sho, Marilyn, Rose, Bernardo, Goldie, Carly, Caitlin, Alejandro, Miss Ma'am, Cass, Sheila, Gina, Kelly, Teresa, Kristen, MCC. Thank you, Selena. Hi, Mandy. Hello. What's going on, y'all? Cass, Leslie, Delcy, Caitlin, Jackie, R Robert. TL, Amy, Marie, Tia, what's up y'all, Sonia, I saw someone, Josephine, Caitlin, my favorite time of the day, oh, my life with three chihuahuas, hello, thank you, Miss Ma'am, hi, Lonely Girl, and Callie, <laughs> Layla, Tans, Tiffany, Hannah, thank you, Hannah, hi, Carmen, and Marissa, and Andrea, and Daniela, I'm trying to say hi to everyone, Krista, Margaret, Gina, Lex, happy Friday the 13th. Thoughts on the name Lila? I like the name Lila. I approve. Thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that. Just made me happy. Good. Hello. Been checking every five minutes. <laughs> well, I do put notifications in our Discord server if you're ever curious. Hi, Shelby. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. You did make it on time, and you thought you weren't going to be able to be here. And here you are. Hey, from another Lily. Hello. All right, where's the staircase? Over here. Found out it's Friday the 13th. Yeah, it is a, is it a spooky day? Yeah, I know, Angeli. It's a sad post. But, um, yeah, we're going to get some food. I haven't eaten anything yet, so it will be nice to uh, get some food. As I have eaten zero today, and it is 2.36. Thank you, everyone. Nugs, Nugs did stay home. Um, unfortunately, he's just going to have to stay at home today, but we'll, he was out yesterday, right? He was with us yesterday, I think. Thank you, Coria. Did I get a new nose piercing? No, no. Last time, it's been at least a few months since I've gotten one. Hi, Marla. All right, we've got a couple of options uh, on where we're going to eat here today. Just a couple. So um, the first one is Mediterranean. That's what we're going to try first. Yeah. Thank you, Sierra. Kira or Sierra? Hi, jo Jose. I almost said Joe's. I needed to read ahead. You like the three? I'm glad, Tater Tot. I do too. Whew, okay, I don't want to get too sweaty here. I love it here. I'm glad. My dog is good. We hung out this morning. Oh, there's another dog right there in the office. So cute. Mediterranean, yeah. Thank you, Tiffany. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Holly, Michelle. Hi, Chris. All right, so hopefully the main thing here is can we get a table that is quiet? Because this restaurant I know likes to play music. So let's see. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Hi, Fran. I know this place likes to play music, so fingers crossed we can get it. Well, we could just sit right there and it'd probably be fine. Hi again. I'm back. You are back. Welcome. I was wondering if today we could do another stream. Uh, yes. Let me... The usual? Okay. Uh, the usual would be fine. I would love to try and see if out there would work today. Oh, okay. Just because it's such a good view, you know? Yes. Okay. It's all good. We can go back there if this doesn't work out here. Okay, cool. Are y'all open? Huh? We're uh, okay. To totally up to, I don't want to, yeah. Kitchen already closed. The kitchen closed? Yes. So we're closed. I didn't look at the time. Oh, dang. So it's from, we're closed from 2 to 3.30. 2 to, th um, to 3.30. So 3.30, kitchen okay. reopens again before food. Gotcha. Um, 
but if you want to definitely stay. I wish I could, but well, I've not eaten anything today, so ah. I got to go get some food. Um, but we can yeah. just do it another time. Okay. It's awesome. all good. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know, Jessica. All right. Let me, um, it's all good. This is kind of the risk of doing a meal at, uh, at 2.38. Um, also, I saw a very kind gift come through that I wanted to recognize before we go to our next place. Callie. That's so sweet. Callie sent $3 on Cash App, said, you are loved, heart emoji. Thank you, Callie. Honestly, it's, you know, if y'all if y'all saw the video I just posted, you, that kind of informs my uh, frame of mind today, just a little bit. Um, trying to be your friend. You're always eating in the best places, I know. Um, thank you, Callie. I appreciate that. Um, you like the strawberries? Yeah, I hear that. Thank you, Monica. I, I appreciate it. Um, we're going to go try and do dim sum next. And if dim sum doesn't work, then we are going to try um, uh, Irish pub food. Hello, Ollie. Is the microphone? You like the strawberries too? Hi, Marilyn. Yeah, it is sad news. Um, but it's not, it's, sad, it's also even sadly sadder, not uncommon news. Um, they hope it's dim sum. Well, we'll see. I don't know what they're, I know they have a balcony. Um, so we're going to, I guess, try and go on the balcony. I don't know. Y'all know you can support the stream with the links in the bio. It's true. Certainly can. The fit is fitting. You think so? Thank you. Hi, Gina. Hi, everyone. Hi, butterfly wings. Hi, Mark. All right, we're just going to go downstairs, I guess. Yes. Irish stew. What is Irish stew? How am I not dying of starvation? Honestly, I'm getting to a point where I am like a, I'm approaching hangry. However, the good news is that um, we're near plenty of places. There's the, at least I know the Irish pub is open. So um, the, the Irish pub is kind of a fail safe. Um, hi, Christina. Can't have you hangry. I know. Why haven't I eaten today? Um, is one of those ADHD things where I just forgot to? <laughs> I did not. Hi, Raylene. Welcome. Um, I forgot to. That's, that's the long and short of it. I wish I could, I wish it was more complicated than that. Um, have I been to Dumpling Home? I want to go to Dumpling Home. Uh, it closes at like 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, I've been trying. Does it cost to subscribe? Also, how do I get to your bio? Um, it costs to subscribe to either TikTok or Patreon. It's Patreon's five a month, TikTok is 10. Um, and you just go to my bio by tapping my little profile picture, whoever that may be. Thank you, Coria. How was my night? So actually, um, I did not um, see Katie last night because uh, she had something else come up. So I'm going after this to go see her. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you. What shade is my lipstick? Um, Sephora lip stain number one. Hi, Kimberly. Yeah. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah. Oh, no. Recolita. You got to take that. Got to take that. Have I been to Ireland before? No, I have not. I want to. Hi, Savannah. Oh, that's so sweet. Brittany. Brittany sent $10. Yeah, I'm going to let Brittany get back here before I read if there's a message. Okay. Is this open? I'm going to find out. No, it's not. Got it. Um, thank you, Alana. Brittany sent a very, very kind gift. Very generous. $10 for lunch, heart. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all always the sweetest. Y'all always take care of me. I appreciate it. No, it's fine. I know where we're going. Fear not. I know where we're going. If this for some reason is closed, which it shouldn't be, um, then we can talk but I have a fail safe that is like always open. And if that doesn't work, we'd probably just go to Gots, which is also very often open. Kilowatt bar, no. I'm not huge into bars generally. Bars don't do much for me. Um, how am I so good at multitasking? I don't know. I would argue I'm maybe not so good at multitasking. 
Hi, Wendy. Hello. I saw the donut video. I'm glad, Rose. Did Is Brittany here? Did Brittany... Yeah, I want to make sure Brittany heard me, heard me say thank you because Brittany sent a very nice gift. Thank you, Buffalo Dill. Thank you, Kimberly. When did I get my nose? Um, I think like most people, I was born with one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know exactly what you're asking. That's funny, though. <laughs> Thank you, Britt. Um, I got my nose piercings like a few months ago. Hi, Shellbug. I know that's what you're asking. I know. I'm just being a little stinker. Uh, I got it. What? J July, maybe? We did it on stream. These that we got this. I had one, but I got the other one a few months ago. Thank you, Mercer. Thank you, TikTok one three. How am I holding up? Yeah. Um, it was, a, it was a pretty um, hard thing to, to edit and a hard thing to post, but um, it was something I think was important to share. So I shared it. Um, also, we got a very nice gift from Bailey. Oh, this is a very nice message. Bailey, are you there? Bailey, are you there? I think Bailey's probably there. Here, here. Bailey sent $5. Oh my God, y'all are being so generous with these gifts. Bailey sent $5 and said, you are such a beautiful soul and inspiration to the world. And I'm so proud and happy with how far you have come along. Lots of love to you, Lily. Heart, heart, Bailey. And a few smiley faces and more hearts. Thank you, Bailey. That is so sweet of you. And Bailey sent ten five dollars Thank you so much. That is so sweet. And there's a few others I want to call out as well um, that came through just now. Mandy, Mandy, oh my gosh, Mandy, you are just the sweetest. Mandy, are you there? We might have to sit, well, we're going to get to all of these, but Mandy said, my wonderful Lilikins, you're the sweetest friend I've had in a long time, and I want nothing but beautiful things for you. Heart bouquet. Thank you, Mandy. That is so sweet. Everyone say thank you to Mandy as well. Oh, thank you. I said $15 too. That's a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. All are, are the best. Um, and then also Madison sent $5. Thank you. And Madison says, for being a built-in bestie. Ooh, I like that. And giving us all a friend to interact with heart. Thank you, Madison. That is so sweet of you. Everyone say thank you to Madison. And also Stephanie. Oh my gosh, Stephanie. Stephanie, you there? Stephanie sent $30. My gosh. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, because you continue to be you, heart. $30. Dang, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Madison, Stephanie, Mandy, Brittany. Also, someone sent on PayPal. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Who is this on PayPal? Another Stephanie. Two Stephanies. Two separate Stephanies. Stephanie G sent 30. Thank you, Stephanie. And Stephanie... It's your last initial. H sent 10. Oh my God, we just had two Stephanies. Stephanie squared, y'all. Thank you, both of you. That is so sweet. Y'all take care of me. Y'all take care of me. Thank you. We were editing the video um, that I just posted on the Discord stream, and it was very heavy, so I'm definitely still like feeling that weight right now. Thank you, Steffi and Stephanie. Y'all are so sweet. Hi, Erica. Hi, Anna, or Anna. Um, last night was good. It was a lot of fun. Um, wait, I didn't. No, last night I did have a lot of fun, but I did not see uh, Katie. Tonight I am seeing Katie. We ended up rescheduling to tonight. So we're going to eat and hang out, and then I will go and hang out with Katie. Yeah, Mrs. Estrada. Very sad. All right. Oh, they have poutine tots. You know we're getting that. Right, let's go get a seat. We'll probably sit on the patio. Yeah, there's definitely sadness, but you know, we got to keep moving on. It's, um, we'll talk about it once I sit down. Y yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Is that okay? Thank you very much. Hi there.
All right. There's also a few more gifts that just came through. I'll read those in just a minute. Um, let's see what the best place to sit is. The best, the best lit, it's probably all about the same. We'll sit here. Is this table a little bit bumpy? Maybe over here? This one's pretty good. Let's do this. All right, hold on. I see a bunch of gifts coming through. I'm going to read them in just a minute, um, but I want to get situated and then we can and we can thank everyone. I did always have a nose ring. Is the lighting here as weird as I think it is? Is it good? I can't tell. Maybe like this. It's a little bit glary. Maybe I sit over here. Bye. -bye. How are you doing? Hi there. I'm trying. I'm trying to find the best lighting. Oh, okay, I'll sit. Right. I'll, I'll oh, take okay. the menu. I'm not. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Do you have hot tea? Yeah, I have um, mint or chamomile. I have both. Uh, let's go mm, chamomile. Great. Thank you. Do you need any sweeter? Uh, some Splenda, please. Thank you. All right, let's try this. How about this? We're good here. Are we good here, y'all? Yes. Do I use, someone asked me, do I use the men's or the women's restroom? Serious question. <sighs> it's a big question. Um, well, I'll tell you what, there's one restroom I would refuse to use. Oh my gosh, hold on. Someone just sent a crazy gift. I will get to it very soon. Um, oh, what if I sat like right here? Ooh, this is a good angle. We'll do this. Chamomile does not have caffeine, no. Okay. Um, but yes, I use the women's bathroom exclusively. I would never, never use a men's bathroom because I am legally female, so I'm not allowed in men's bathrooms. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to break any rules. Um, okay, we have some very, very generous gifts that came through uh, while we were kind of getting settled here, so let's read them. Oh my gosh, they keep coming through as well. Thank you, everyone. If you sent a gift, I, I, uh, I'm about to say thank you. So, okay, wow. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Um, yeah, I would say maybe ten minutes or so. Cool. You're not. Uh, you're, are you going to be on shift for a while? I'm not going to like. I'm going to be done at about three thirty, but like it's. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Of course, yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure that we take care of you tip-wise. All right. Um, sorry. Distracted again. TIFF. Is this... I'm not sure if this is TIFF as in short reprises, TIFF. TIFF S, are you there? TIFF S, are you there? TIFF S said the following. I love watching your content and know you've helped so many people. Stay positive, but most importantly, stay true to you. Heart smiley emoji. Thank you, TIFF. Thank you so much. I, I know it says Tiffany, but I'm, I just want to make, okay, not you. I know you're Tiff, so I'll say Tiffany then. Tiffany, thank you very much. Everyone say thank you to Tiffany. That is so sweet. And they sent um, $5. Thank you so much. Uh, next up, wow, this is, wow, thank you, everyone. Erica, Erica with a K, sent $5 as well. Thank you, Erica. And sent and said the following, hugs and lunch. Indeed. Hugs and lunch. Hugs and lunch, y'all. That's the motto for today. Hugs and lunch. H&L. Um, oh my gosh. Leah or Leia. Is it Leah or Leia? Oh my gosh. Dang. Leah or Leia. I don't want to say your name wrong. I think Leah is the more common pronunciation, but it's... Okay. I need... I, need, I, I see Leah C. Leah Carroll right there. I need, I need the, the alliteration, but regardless... 
you sent fifty dollars that is incredibly generous thank you so much oh yeah parker thank you i will get you modded really quick um we're gonna talk a little bit more to leah in a second if if they say um how to pronounce it let me know it don't matter okay leah thank you you sent fifty dollars that is incredible thank you so much uh from leah have a great day love heart thank you there's a heart in there after leah i want to thank you wow that is incredibly generous of you it's it's folks like leah that and and really everyone that's given today that makes this kind of streaming possible so thank you thank you so much um and that's also that's not even it <laughs> my gosh i need to be modded yep that's it thank you kira um, so while everyone's saying thank you to Leah, I'm going to mod Kira. Well, it makes me legally a female. Uh, I guess the government? I don't know. They're the ones who put it on my ID. Um, just, uh, okay, next up. Lee. Lee, are you there? Lee sent $5. That is so sweet of you, Lee. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is a very sweet message. Lee says... For being perfectly you and always having the kindest way of educating me and others. You are truly a gem. Keep on keeping on, girly, and have a great weekend. Heart, heart, heart. Kiss, heart, kiss. Thank you, Leah. That is so sweet. Or Lee. Lee, not Leah. Leah was before. Everyone say thank you to Lee. That is so sweet. And then also Michelle. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, oh, boy. Michelle, I think, is trying to... Uh, yes, I will. I will, Paula. Mind you. Um, the, uh, if anyone also wants to um, support the stream and support me, I have in my bio the Cash App and PayPal. Um, and you can send a message and I'll read it. For example, Michelle is... Um, oh, wait, did I mod Paula? I think I did. Oh, no. Yeah, you're good. Um, thank you, Lily. Yeah, big gifters today. Thank you. Um, I think Michelle's trying to start a uh, pickup line contest. Because <laughs> this is what they said. They sent $10. Thank you so much. And they said, okay, Siri, I'm not trying to talk to you. If you were a vegetable, you'd be a cute cumber. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. <laughs> a cute cumber. Oh, thank you, Kirsten. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I there's a whole bunch of new mods. Um, that we that we are modding today. You're totally good. Thank you for reminding me. I think I got four. I think there was four people. So we have four new mods. So watch out, world. We got new mods. New mods. All right. Um, red is my color. Thank you. Speaking of food, which I have not eaten today yet, we are at a restaurant. So apparently they have a chicken gyro. Gyro. Lily, don't leave me behind. Do you want to be a mod, Goldie? You're a mod. Uh, let's get uh, you're you're a mod in the um, in the chat, right? Or in the in the, or I'm, we talked about this yesterday. If we didn't, we'll get you in the Discord. Add the role. I don't know why Siri is so desperate to talk to me today. Oh my God, they're more y'all. <laughs> oh my G Delilah, right? Thank you. I always mix it up. Um, thank you for reminding me. Uh, can I be a mod? Uh, mods are people. I I, I tend to want to know my mods a little bit more and like have known them for at least a few weeks and kind of get a feel for them as people before. I'm sure you're great and I'm sure a bunch of you would be great as mods, but um, there's only so many mods I can even choose. The system only lets me choose so many. So, um, but uh, thank you for asking, I appreciate it. Um, okay, uh, next up, wow, y'all are so sweet. Rachel, Rachel R, thank you. Sent $5, that is so sweet of you and said, can't give much. You have taught me a lot about the trans community, and I truly enjoy your lives. Thank you, heart. Thank you, Rachel. Oh. Everyone say thank you to Rachel. That is so sweet. No, oh, so sweet. Thank you, Rachel. I want to make sure. I'm, I'm assuming eight Rachel is back by now. And also Manuel. Manuel R. Sent $5 as well and said, stay blessed. Thank you for all that you do. Party confetti explosion emoji. Like the... Pff. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, both of y'all. Y'all are so sweet. So sweet. Um, Lily, I was supposed to be added. Were you? Oh, hey, Jesse. Okay, sorry. Yes, got you. Um, I, always, I always only see hey in front of your name. 
and not just Jesse. So I got you. Um, thank you. And oh my God, these just keep coming, y'all. <laughs> We're never going to eat. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm actually very interested in the chicken or the, the gyro that they have because um, it sounds pretty dang good. I don't know. But then again, there's always like a risk when you get a special of like, is it going to be, is it going to be like as good as what they normally do? You know what I'm saying? Um, is there a way you can donate for the person? Um, I'm not sure. I can ask. Uh, the person is, I don't really know the person very well that was there, but I can, I can message. Um, I'm not even sure how close, well, I would imagine they're pretty close to that person, but I'll ask. I'll ask. Thank you, Max. I appreciate that. The, the Euro did sound good. The Euro did sound good. So we'll, we'll ask about that. I'm going to need a little bit more um, information on that. Danielle. Danielle. Oh my God. That is such a sweet. Oh, I love this message. Danielle sent $5. Danielle asked, thank you so much. Lily says, says, Lily, I discovered your feed randomly a few months ago and I've loved watching you. Your positive energy is refreshing and I love how respectful you are when educating others. Love the president of Nuggets fan club. I love that. I'll let Nugget know that he's got, I think he kind of already knows, but I'll remind him tonight that um, Nugget has a fan club. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so the chicken gyro. That's good to have on our on our mind here. I'm going to read you some of the apps because um, this is a very like a, a much. It's an above average bar food place. Okay, um, mini corn dogs, fried cheese curds, pimento deviled eggs, spinach and artichoke dip, crispy coconut shrimp, chili cheese fries, sweet potato fries, house cut fries, loaded tachos. Now I do see it is happy hour. It just hit happy hour, like not a minute ago. And that gives us wings for 10. Oh my gosh. We just got a really generous gift that came through. Hold on. Sliders for 10. Poutine tots for eight. Poutine tots for eight. We're going to have to do poutine tots and then also fries. I need poutine tots in my life. Melissa, Melissa, are you there? Oh, that is so sweet. Melissa, are you there? Oh, you like my donut video? I'm so glad, Jen. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get the poutine tots easily. But um, Melissa, wow. Melissa sent $30. Dang, Melissa, thank you. That is incredibly generous of you. Yes, we will get, we will get poutine tots, don't worry. But Melissa sent $30 and said, thanks for sharing your light and happy sober anniversary with a light bulb emoji. Thank you very much, Melissa. Yeah, this is um, technically it was yesterday. I posted about it today because I forgot about it till today. Um, but yeah, it's my year soberversary. I've been sober for over a year. Hi, Lana. Hello. Ah, that's chamomile. Okay. I'm also going to, so we'll get the poutine tots. I'm actually kind of thinking about the mini corn dogs. Congrats, Lisa Marie. Congrats. How was uh, Katie last night? We're actually, I'm actually going tonight instead. We had to reschedule at the last second. Best piece of advice for someone in early sobriety? <sighs> Be ready to fight because it's, it's, it, you have to fight for it. There is no like easy way to do it. Um, you have to be willing to fail and, get, and pick yourself back up over and over again until it finally sticks. Um, it's not easy. Yeah. Mini corn dogs does sound good. I just don't like honey mustard. So we're going to need to find a new sauce for that. Um, also, someone sent $5. I want to, my watch is always slow to, to update. Um, I'll read it in a second once they get back from, from Cash App. But um, they also have lemon pepper wings, sliders, empanadas. I think we did the empanadas last time. Fancy sauce could work. It could work. Girl dinner with pub food? Heck yes. Melted cheese? Ooh. We'll see if they can do like that that queso or something. They also have a steak quesadilla, which sounds pretty good, or a chicken quesadilla for 18. They have a salad. Between the bread, they have a sandwich. They have a turkey club. I do love turkey club. Oh, there you are, Sarah. Thank you very much. Sarah sent $5. Well, thank you, Sarah. Um, and they said, I hope you have a lovely day, you lovely soul. Thank you. My day is much more lovely when y'all are here. Much more lovely when y'all are here. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Um, okay, so we're going to do the mini corn dogs, hopefully with melted cheese. We're going to do the poutine tots, no questions asked. Um, I'm looking to see here, large plates, they have a chicken pot pie. That could be good. Fish and chips, braised beef ribs, skirt steak, skirt, marinated chicken, mac and cheese. Anything sticking out? Oh, thank you, Jacob. Um, you like how my outfit matches the ceiling? Me too. What was it like getting sober? Difficult. I mean, very difficult. The quesadilla sounds pretty good. I could go for the quesadilla or chicken pot pie. Both of those sounds good. I would lean chicken pot pie. Oh, the chicken gyro. Yeah, we got to ask about that too. We'll ask about the chicken gyro too. I don't want, I think we did the turkey club last time. Um, I'm not super moved by it. Have I ever been to London? Yes, I have been to London. It's very pleasant. Yeah, me too, Jesse. Me too. Um, someone sent money via PayPal. That is so nice. How do I say this word? This word, this name. A-I-N-A. -A. I'm going to guess on this one. Aina. Or Aina. Aina? Or Aina. Either way. That's you, Apple. Okay, I'll just say Apple. Thank you, Apple. Everyone say thank you to Apple. Apple sent $10. That is so sweet. Uh, with the message, thank you for teaching me everything about your community and for being a respectful and genuine person. Thank you. Thank you, Apple. That is so sweet of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, everyone say thank you to Apple. In the meantime, today, Backwood says, today is my five-year anniversary. No cigarettes. Congrats. That's awesome. Wow. That's, inc that's incredible. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, so definitely the poutine tots sounds like an easy, um, do you happen to have like queso or, no. or melted cheese of some kind? Cause I feel, I don't really like honey mustard, Okay. but I like corn dogs. Okay. Yeah. No, sorry. We don't, we, we just have to like the habanero ranch. I think habanero ranch would be good to dip those in. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. Um, tell me more about this. Chicken gyro? Is that what it is? Yeah, grilled chicken uh, gyro with a uh, cucumber, tomato, lettuce, red onion, and it's wrapped in like a pita, pita mm -hmm. bread, and then it comes with the fries. Okay, I and mean, it, has the tzatziki sauce on it. it does sound good, but like I'm between that, the chicken pot pie, and um, what was the other one, y'all? The oh shoot, the chicken quesadilla. I would probably do the special because. Is is it like good pita too? Like yeah, yeah, no, it is good. It is good. Okay, yeah. all right, great. I'll do it. Good. Well, I just ring in the poutine tots and the mini corn dogs now, and then after that, we'll do the chicken gyro. Okay, and then we'll do the chicken gyro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank Currently facing withdrawals. Any tips? Um, distract yourself and talk to your friends. Uh, that's the best thing you can do. Turkey sandwich was the other one. Add and one turkey sandwich. There you are, Roxy. Roxy sent $5. Thank you so much, Roxy. That's a very sweet message. To oh my gosh, Roxy. Ugh. I'm sorry. Roxy said, have an amazing day. Congrats on your sobriety. I lost two brothers to addiction. I'm so sorry. Let's all give some love to Roxy, please. Uh, can you post some resources for trans people? Trevor Project. If you want to give to trans causes, the Trevor Project is a first place, is the best place to start. Yeah. R-O-X-I-E, Roxy. That's how you spell it. Thank you, Roxy. And uh, we love you. All right. So we've got corn dogs. We've got poutine tots. We've got a gyro. That's going to be a good amount of cake. They also have a warm, they have a flourless chocolate cake and a warm apple crisp and a warm banana cake. Last time the warm apple crisp was fine. It was fine. Um, the flourless cake, I feel like we should probably, uh, it comes with a stout whipped cream, which tells me that's alcohol. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling. We'll see how we're feeling. Banana cake. That has a rum caramel sauce. We'll have to see if we can like un-alcoholify all of these. 
Um, thank you, all of you. Just nice to see someone who has overcome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I've been sober for, from everything for a year. Although, I guess if you count caffeine, much less. But um, you say, oh my gosh. User94 said, you, says, you saved my son with your content and support for me as a parent? Do you mean it? Like, saved? I, I don't know what to say to that. Like... That's both like incredible and also terrifying, you know, like. I'm so happy that your son is still here. I'm so happy. And, and it's like such a stark contrast to if you saw my most recent video, like. <sighs> Thank you, Nicole. Um, to have to have like such a joyful thing like your son is still here. And then to have like such terrible news like I posted about earlier, it's like, thank you, KL. Um, I'm so happy for you. And I'm honored to have been a part of that. Um, thank you, Amy. Hello, I'm wearing your earrings. Wow, I'm a whole bucket of emotions, y'all. Oh, here, let's um, let's um, not let's unpin that really quick. And um, someone, pl yeah, yeah, someone, please. Um, I, I am. I only mute. Let's unmute Lovely really quick because I just wanted to get that comment out of there. Um, not because I don't want those numbers to be there. They're important numbers, but you're not allowed to post numbers in this app. And sometimes, and people can use that to report and get it com get us completely taken off the air. Um, so if someone can try and unmute Lovely, um, I, I, that's the only reason. I just wanted to get that comment out. Um, thank you for posting it, Lovely. I know you didn't mean it that way. Um, so yeah, uh, what you know, my mods understand. Uh, my mods understand. Uh, but yeah, wow. Back to that what that person who said that I cannot believe it like that's such a I don't know I I know like I hear a lot of people Jen Jen I'll, let me let me finish my thought on this and then I'll we can talk about what you're saying um you know I get a lot of messages that are super sweet and it's like oh my god Lily like I love your content like you've been inspiration but like rare I don't know if anyone's ever said like you saved a life um which kind of puts things in a different it's like a entirely different ball game with that, and it's kind of wild, and um, it means a lot to me. Thank you for saying so. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, could I hold on to that? Thank you. Oh, and um, one other thing on the desserts. Um, okay, it's got a stout whipped cream. Is that um, is it possible to just do regular whipped cream? Because I'm okay. Uh, we, we can, you can put that at the end. And if you want, we can check out ahead of time just so I get it's you okay. a tip. I don't mind giving me over to the other server. She's pretty good too. She, she always I'm sure she it. is, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's up to you. I'm happy to close out early if, if you'd like. It's, it, I'll chat to her and see what she wants to do. And then, and then I'll let you know. All right. Thank, thank you. you. And could I have another chamomile bag at some point? No rush. Uh, like the tea bag? Yeah. yeah thank you. Jen, I still see you. I want to thank someone uh, sent a donation. I want to say thank you to that person. And then I'll talk about the first day, Jen. Um, wow. Oh, my God. A couple people. Dang. Kurt, Christy? Christy, are you there? Oh, my gosh. Christy? Dang. I'm assuming Christy is here because it's been a second. It's been like five minutes. Christy sent $40. Oh, my gosh. With a K. K there you are. Christy Brown. Um, Let's let's uh, everyone say thank you to Christy Brown. Tilly, I, I, I'll respond to that soon. And Jen, I still got you as well. But everyone say thank you to Christy. You sent $40. Happy soberversary, you beautiful soul. Today, I'm just like a bucket of emotions today, y'all. I cannot, I cannot function today. It's just like the highest of highs. And oh, I saved someone's life. Okay. And 
it's my sober versary and also I got that really terrible video from earlier. It's like, you deserve to hear it more. My son may use your words to educate his peers too. I, I don't even know what to say y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you, Christy. That is incredibly generous. And also Emma, also Emma on, on, um, on PayPal or I'm sorry, on Venmo sent this current live is obvious why you are such a special force. Have an amazing Friday, beautiful gal. Heart emoji, sun emoji. And they sent $10. Thank you so much. You all mean the world to me, honestly. I didn't think this would be such an emotional day. I was just like, oh, it's going to be a normal like Friday. We'll go eat somewhere and then I'm going to go hang out with Katie. But um, today, oh my gosh. And Jen and Tilly, I've not forgotten about you, I promise. Oh my gosh. Um, dang. So, so yes, we're all saying thank you to Emma and thank you to Christy. And now also Ratchy Fatchy. Ratchy Fatchy, are you there? Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to, uh, Tilly is your daughter? Awesome. Um, Ratchy Fatchy, AKA Wit, sent an incredibly generous gift. There you are. The caption is, Lily, thank you for being my friend. Keep being a beautiful light for all of us. Love you with lots of heart and kiss emojis. $70. I'm not gonna cry on stream today. I have, my eye makeup is too good. <sighs> Absolutely, Jen, I know, I, I promise I'll get back to you. I'm just kind of sitting with this for a second. Um, and Tilly as well. I, I won't forget about you. Wow. That is, um, incredibly generous. And, um, it means a lot to know that I am doing something, uh, that is helpful to people because, you know, you, you, you read so much negativity and not, not just about me. Yes. But also about, um, just like trans people in general and, um, it's, it, it means a lot to know that y'all, that it means something to you. Because it means something to me. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Mandy and Ricky and everyone. And wit, wow, $70, oh my God. That is incredibly generous. The world needs more love, I agree. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. You give us all an educated space to learn. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the space. It's not a space when it's just me. Y'all make the space, so thank you. Hi, Olives. Wow. All right, Jens asked the question, it's their first day of sobriety, how do you deal with it? Um, hi, Summer. <sighs> a friend, just one is all you need, if you, if you have a friend. If you don't, we have other things you can do, but if you have a friend, find a friend and be brutally honest with them. Thank you, Stacy. Tell them this is what you're dealing with. This is day one for you. It's not going to be pretty. Um, and help have them be there for accountability for yourself and also stay distracted. Exercise, go on walks, go on a hike. Just try and not think about anything for the first, honestly, the first few weeks. Um, congrats, Kristen. Oh my gosh. There's a few incredibly generous gifts that just came through, which I will talk about in a second. Um, yeah. So try and keep busy and have a friend go to an AA meeting. If you can, I personally never use those meetings, but I know people, close friends who it's helped a lot. Um, so no matter where you are in the world, typically those aren't too hard to come by. There's like a whole directory. So, um, Glad, Jamie Lee. So I, I hope that's helpful. I found you through trolls and I love you, honestly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, Tilly, are you still there? Okay, so just, just be honest. You got to be honest with yourself and the world. Um, you got to be honest with yourself and the world. Alrighty. Thank you. Oh my God. And then a mini corn dog. Okay, thank you. And do you want some more hot water? I would love some more Great. hot water. Thank okay. you so much. Can I ask your name? Lauren. Lauren? Yeah. Thank you. What's your Lily. Lily, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
yeah, they have online ones as well. Tilly, uh, you make earrings. You want to send me some? Um, possibly send me a um, send me a uh, a message. We can talk. Also, there are a few additional like really generous gifts that came through as well. Sorry for keeping y'all waiting on those. A few really well. Okay, Nicholas, Nicholas W sent five dollars. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Uh, congrats on your sober anniversary. Thank you for being you, Heart. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, someone just sent a triple digit gift and I see it um, and we're gonna talk about it because there are a bunch of um, really generous gifts in the line right now. Oh my God, hi Nicholas, thank you so much. Everyone say thank you to Nick. That is so nice of you. And then Amber, oh my gosh, Amber, that is so nice of you. Amber, are you here? Amber sent $50, five zero, oh my gosh. Thank you for being a light every day. Thank you so much, Lauren. Great. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, Amber. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Wow. Fifty dollars. Dang. Thank you. There you are, Amber Andra. Say th everyone. Say thank you to Amber. Fifty dollars. That's incredibly generous. Wow. And um, oh oh boy. This is Kelly. Kelly, you there? Kelly and Tilly. Oh, Kelly and Tilly. Okay, because Tilly is Kelly's daughter, Kelly Jean. Oh my gosh. Um, Kelly Jean says, the world needs more Lily. My family adores you. Love your sweet friends, Kelly and Tilly. That's a hundred dollars. Love you too. Kelly and Tilly. Wow. Um, thank you. I honestly don't know what to say. Everyone who's given to the stream today, it's, it's, it's kind of flabbergasting, especially on such a tough day, um, a, an incredible day and also on a tough day. It's like everything all at once. It's both incredible and a sad day and everything in between. And like, thank you so much. Um, thank you. Let's eat. Yes. Thank you. Wow. These are poutine tots, y'all. This is tater tots, gravy, and cheese curds. Oh my God. Look at these. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. It is an emotional roller coaster today. Um, I take big bites, but not that big. Okay. Oh my God. That is unreal. That is just decadent. Gravy, cheese, tater tots. Why do why we don't do this in America? These are poutine tots. Yeah. Why sad day? It's well, watch my most recent video. Everything's okay. Don't worry. I'm okay. It was just we had we lost someone. Um, just watch the video. Or don't. It's very sad. Hi, Eliana. Um, but also, we saved someone, apparently, today. And um, we got to celebrate that, too. Am I okay after yesterday's cigarette situation? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Um, it was stressful at the time, but, you know, it wasn't the end of the world. It was so good. It's not poutine. It's poutine tots. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. Well, it's not a sad poutine. It's a delicious poutine. There's nothing sad about this. Nothing sad about this. The only thing I would say, you know, poutine tots are illegal. Okay, got it. Is the cheese squeaky? Um, yeah, it is squeaky. It's definitely cheese curds. There's a lot of gravy pooling at the bottom. There's nothing bad about these. These are incredible. Incredible. Um, I'm on hormones, yes. You're great. Thank you, Jono. Usually it's for fries. Yes, but these are specifically poutine tots. That's what they're on the menu. Mm. Normally it's the same thing just with fries instead of tots. But like, it's the same thing. Slightly different, but basically the same thing. I've offended the Canadians, I know. I'm sorry, Canadians. 
But yeah, Jen, you said you're terrified. I, I did see that before. You said you're terrified to get sober. I was too. I think one thing that our brains do to, um, okay, champagne 3.0, I will um, read that. I'll get to you in just a second. But Jen, it is terrifying to get sober. Um, however, well, not even however. It's terrifying to get sober because there's a, there's a light at the end of the tunnel that is difficult, if not impossible, for people who are in it to see. Because you're so deep underwater, you're so deep under the ocean that it seems like there's no way there could be light up there. But there is. And honestly, one of the toughest things is to take, that, take people's word for it, that life gets better. Because your brain lies to you and says that you can't, exi you can't survive without it. Or this is just how you cope with things. This is just how I, I'm so anxious and I have so much stuff going on that I really couldn't exist without this, this thing. But that's a lie. It's always a lie. Um, so you have to take my and other people's word for it that there is a light at the end and life does get better, so much better. Um, and the real trick about quitting and getting sober is getting high, or <laughs> that's not the right word, going from low enough in the ocean, high up enough so that you can see the light. You have to get there on your own, just on faith. Oh my gosh. Would it be possible to like keep that warm for a little bit? My kitchen guy is leaving oh right God. now. Okay, it's fine. And yeah, sorry. No worries. That's why I had to bring it in. Thank you. Could I have um, maybe some um, extra tzatziki? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We got our chicken gyro, y'all. Yeah, withdrawals are terrible. It's true. Um, but you can do it. Thank you, Tara. Wow. This is so good, y'all. All right, should we try the mini corn dogs? We should try the mini corn dogs. Also, there's another gift that came through like 10 minutes ago, and I totally forgot about it. Thank you for to whoever it was that, um, with for your patience there. I, I saw it, and I was like, I'll talk about it in a second. Amelie. I love that name. Amelie, are you there? Amelie says, broke AF right now, but had to send some heart, love, heart. That's the emojis. Love your way. Fangirl since day one and forever. So proud of you. Rainbow emoji. Love you, Lily. Your German best. Oh! Oh! Amelie, yes. I almost forgot. That's Amy Stravinsky. There you are. I almost forgot that Amelie was your real name or full name. Thank you, Amy. You are so sweet. I'm... Um, we, we, Amy and I talked briefly this morning. I'm very glad you're here today, Amy. Um, if you didn't know, Amy was literally the first ever person to subscribe to me on Patreon. Day one, stream one, she was there. And I'm eternally grateful for that. This, Amy is OG. No one's been here longer than Amy. Uh, this is a mini corn dog with habanero ranch. I'm even wearing earrings that Amy made for me, for crying out loud. These are Amy originals. Mm, that's good. A little overdone in the fryer, but I'm not upset about it. No, you're good, Amy. Mm. The ranch is spicy. Thank you so much. Mm. Amy does rock. Amy is... It, it took me... All the way, till all the way getting down that message to realize that that was Amy Stravinsky. I was like, Amelie, because it's been so long since I've heard your name, Amelie. Mm. Hi, Laura. Thank you. Oh, wow. What an emotional stream, y'all. Dang. Now we need to know if Amy has Etsy because those earrings. I don't know. She might. Last time I checked, she didn't, but maybe that's changed. I think it's more in the realm of a hobby that I remember. And I'm lucky that I've gotten plenty of Amy originals. Also, the gummy bear wears, ones I was wearing yesterday. What about the question that was pinned? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the question? I forgot about it. I said I wouldn't, and I did. Right. There was someone who said, how do I support... Oh, that's funny, Elle. Um, How do I support my friend who is transitioning? Resay the question if that was you. But the question was, how do I... <laughs> Five cake pops. Are they good? Because I wonder if they'd still be good. 
not yet, but I'm considering it. You should. Um, I keep losing my train of thought. They said, I'm so happy, Gina. Uh, they said, I'm going to say the whole sentence. I'm going to close my eyes and say it. How do I support my friend who's transitioning but doesn't have many friends and doesn't want to go out? That was the question. They were the birthday cake one. Didn't taste as the chocolate one. Didn't taste as good as the U.S. That makes sense. USA, rah, rah, rah. Um, so I was that person. I was that person. Especially in the first year or two of my transition. Honestly, up until like mid to late last year. I had virtual friends. I played some D&D in person, but like I was still pretty like I was alone a lot. Um, I started HRT. Congrats, Doc Future. Um, the thing is, a lot of trans people, as they get deeper and deeper into their transition, sometimes people who thought they were extroverts or introverts actually end up being extroverts or more extroverted because when you finally get to live your truth, it's a lot easier to talk to people and just to be like out and about doing things in the world. So how do you get your friend who doesn't want to hang out and just do it, doesn't want to do anything to like take the, the plunge, right? It's difficult. Just try and invite them to stuff. That's honestly the best thing. That's the best thing. Yeah, Amy should definitely start a shop. She is very talented. Um, very talented. But it, yeah, it's very difficult to, to like get that momentum going. You need someone to like pull you out. Um, Ronnie, if y'all remember my friend Ronnie. We haven't talked in a while, but um, she was the person who did that for me. And I'll always be grateful for her to do that. Like she saw me as someone who was like not doing much. And even though I wasn't as into, you know, let's go party, party, party. I was like, I'm not really a party person. She still helped me step outside my comfort zone in a way that um, helped give me the momentum to be more confident in myself and also um, make more friends. And, it, and it, she showed me the value of having trans friends. Um, can you pin what Champagne said? Yeah, I might have missed it. Because I think, oh, there we are. They wear huge hoodies and seem like they're always hiding, even though they're transitioning. Okay. Well, Champagne, I will say, that is of less worry to me. Because, yeah, that's, I think, especially in early transition, your body, it's like puberty, right? It's the second puberty. Your body is just starting to change. You might not be ready to show the world. And that's totally okay and valid. And I wouldn't worry about that. But, you know, inviting them out. Oh no, you did. I'm so sorry, Ashley. You want to confirm with me what the what the address was? Hi, Asha. So yeah, just just invite them to things. Um, if you can have other trans people, I don't know if you're trans as well, but like, um, see if you know, bring them to queer friendly events. Oh, thank you, Lizard. I appreciate that. I'm I'm not currently not taking app applications for D and D, but um, maybe someday. Maybe someday. All right. Uh, here is the gyro. I'm just going to put some extra Suzuki sauce on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's chicken. Yeah. Wow. That's good. I'm going to put some fries in there. I'm going to put some hot sauce on top. Hi, Jamie. I'm going to have to go. Oh, okay. Bye, Mandy. We'll see you later. Suzuki is very good. What's the best way to ask someone's pronouns? I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah. You might have like a gut instinct that like, if I ask someone, it's going to call out that they're trans, right? And I don't want to draw attention to it. But in reality, to most trans people, 99%, I would say, um, asking someone's pronouns says more, hey, I don't want to get it wrong. Well, like it shows that you care and don't want to get it wrong. That's what I'm saying. So you can simply, you can ask it like really casually, even if it doesn't feel casual to you, just fake it till you make it. 
say, um, oh, hey, what are your pronouns? Cool, thanks. She, her, got it. I just want to check in, see if everything's safe. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yes, I hired someone yesterday who was trans and I asked her pronoun. She was delighted. Excellent. I'm so happy to hear it. Yeah. I'm always happy to say, like, yeah, she, her. Because I'll tell you what, anytime I'm out and about, I so often I'm like, God, especially at restaurants, but with servers, I feel like I really don't want someone to call me sir tonight. There goes the lipstick, exactly. Is it smeared or is it just gone? Um, right? Um, and for me, for someone to ask, it just like, it's, it's like a sense of security, right? Like I know I'm not going to get misgendered tonight by this person. Well, I appreciate that, Jen, but pronouns are important. We all use them and you want to get them right. You want to get them right. Is that a euro? Yes. It's delicious. It's a chicken euro. Look at that. Can I dip it in my teeth? No. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. Mm. Yeah, really good. But yeah, it, it's definitely you can just ask someone's pronouns casually. Like, what are your pronouns? She, her? Cool. This is tzatziki and this is habanero ranch plus um, hot sauce. House hot sauce. Fried cheese curds with caramel. That sounds really good. Um, I don't have any caramel though. Thank you, Leah. My husband is FTM and he said he'd rather someone ask his pronouns instead of assuming. Yep, exactly. Now look, I'd be lying if there isn't like a small sect of trans people out there who when you ask their pronouns, they might tell you they're offended. But it's important to remember that there are a lot of trans people out there. A lot of trans people out there. We are a diverse and large group of people. Yeah, go get that snack, Amy. With differing opinions. I'm telling you that 99% of us would rather you ask our pronouns, okay? If someone gets upset about you at you for it, you can blame me. You can blame me. You're not a monolith what? I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it, look. Of course, there's always going to be outliers, people who feel differently, but the vast majority. Hi, I'm Gigi. My pronouns are she, her. How about you? That's another way of doing it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, that's more of the passive way to do it, which is totally fine. If you know me, you know that I'm always going to choose the active way over the passive way. Instead of like, I say mine now, it's unspoken that they say theirs. Um, um, yeah, so I, I just, I just straight up ask, but both ways are valid. I misgendered someone, an honest mistake. It made me feel so bad. Yeah. I mean, if you accidentally do that, a lot of people are like, what happens if I accidentally misgender someone? What do I do? Sometimes people make the mistake of doing one of these. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. And they're like, no, I can't believe I did it. I'm so upset at myself. Mandolin, I'll get to you in a second. Um, when in reality, you just need to say, Ooh, I'm so sorry. She, her got it. And then move on. That's it. That's it. Um, advice on how to handle your child coming out as trans. Okay. Mandolin, let's talk. Can, so I'm assuming your child has come out as trans. And if so, how old are they? Hmm. Great, Lara. The hug the other day was the perfect reaction to make a mistake. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Ooh, also Thrill House. Okay, Thrill House, I see you. We're going to talk very soon, okay? I want to talk to Mandolin first. Okay, so your kid is trans. They're 18, and they came out to you. Do you... Um, just in general, Mandolin, do you feel... You have a good handle on what it means to be trans or 
Is that something that could, could use some explaining? Because I can help explain it if it's helpful. Or could use some explaining. Okay. I got you, Amanda. No problem. Sit back and relax. I got you. Okay. When we are born, and I'm using a metaphor here, okay? Hi. Hi you? Good. good. You're not Lauren. She, she's in there. I'm her um, helper. I'm her assistant. All good. Yeah. Hello. Hi. I think I'm done with the poutine. And I hear you have a cake coming. Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay, great. Yes, like please. Oh, uh, definitely another 15 plus minutes. Cheers. Thank you so much. You Appreciate it. And what's your name? Crystal. Crystal? Hi. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Back to Amanda. When we're born, and this is a metaphor, okay? Stick with me here. Everyone, when they're born, is given a shoe. A shoe, okay? Um, I got you, Kyle. I see. Everyone's given a shoe. The shoe is a best guess as to how your feet are going to grow, right? Because when you're born, you got little baby feet. It's impossible to know how big your, your feet are gonna grow, but we give people shoes so that as they grow, they can grow into the shoes and walk around the world successfully, right? Because you need a shoe to walk. You need a shoe to walk. Like I said, the shoes are a best guess. They are not a one-to-one -one ratio. Sometimes the shoe you're given is not the right size. It's just not the best. It's just not the right size. And you need to switch shoes. Okay. Now, the way this metaphor is working is with man and woman or boy and girl, right? I was given the boy shoe because they looked at my body and they said, Ooh, most likely boy. The key word is most likely. Because the, the really hard concept that people struggle with is that boy and having a P are not the same thing. I know it's a big concept, but it's not. We make a guess and we give someone a shoe and we, we hope, like most people, the majority, the vast majority of people, their shoe's gonna fit, but not everyone, okay? That's where trans people come in. The shoe that I was given, the boy's shoe, it didn't fit. And every time I took a step, it was painful. It was uncomfortable. Everything I did was kind of through this context of I'm un I, I, my shoe hurts. It's physical pain sometimes, but it's also emotional pain. And eventually you have this shoe that doesn't fit and everything you do is just unpleasant. What trans people do is they take off their old pair of shoe, shoes and they put on a new pair of shoes. That's what transitioning is, okay? It's not some sort of like evil plot to take sports from people. It's simply existing in the world more comfortably. Hi, Texas gal. That's all it is. Um, so your kid has always been the same gender. They're not changing anything, okay? They're just changing their pair of shoes. That's all. Um, and it's important that as a parent, Manda, Mandy, I forget the name, that when your child is changing shoes that you support them. Because if you don't support them, then they may end up not putting on the right pair of shoes or they might end up just miserable because everything hinges on your parents either accepting you or not accepting you. As a parent, if you don't accept your child, for whatever it may be, bad things happen. In fact, I encourage you to watch my most recent video. So, how, Amanda, Amanda, are you still there, by the way? Um, do you support your trans kid? Know that you're not losing a child. You're not. In fact, you're gaining a happier child. You're gaining a happier child. You're not losing anyone. <clears throat> They're still the same person. They're just about to be much happier. It's up to you to support them in being happy. Okay? If you don't, they will be significantly less happy. 
There's no illness. There's no nothing other than that. They're just changing shoes and they need you to support them. Are you still there, by the way? Mandolin, I support them, always have. Just allowing them to dress and express themselves as they feel fit. Yeah, I mean, Manda, honestly, as long as you support them, that's all that matters. You will, over time, things will fall into place for you. And you will see how much happier they are. My tips to you. If you're not already doing it, maybe you, maybe you are. But if you're not already doing it, call them by the right name, whatever that name may be. May be. Do not use the previous name. I'll tell you, my previous name, the name I was given at birth, it was Nick. And my mom, every once in a while, I struggle with the pronouns, I slip up, I hear that. My mom, every once in a while, will call me he, or she'll accidentally call me Nick. Um, I, I just want you to know, Amanda, that when that happens, knife, right there, takes the air out of a room. It is, it is so incredibly hurtful. Um, even though I know, even though I know she doesn't mean it, it's still hurtful. So here's what you do. Go and get a picture of your kid. Sit down on the couch. Look at the picture. Say the name and the pronouns over and over again. So for example, if I was looking at a picture of me, I want to say Lily. She, that's Lily. She's my daughter. She is my daughter, Lily. Lily. And just practice. Okay. I promise you that not only will you get better, your relationship with your kid will improve. In fact, I would suggest that you go to your kid and say, hey, I'm so sorry that I've been me messing up your pronouns. I, today, am going to start trying a whole lot harder to gender you and to gender you correctly. I want you to know it matters to me that I, that I get it right, okay? So like, like that alone is going to improve your relationship with your kid a hundredfold. How do I tell my Christian family I'm bi? I'm terrified, 22, tired of hiding. Live life full throttle. Can I ask what your actual name is? So I can address you by your actual name. It makes things a little bit more personal. Um, you have every right to be terrified. Taylor, hello Taylor. Everyone say hi to Taylor. Um, Okay, do you live at home, Taylor? Or do you live on your own? And if, if you live on your own, how far do you live from your family? And how, how big of a, a part are they in your life? Everyone say hi to Taylor. Don't forget about me. Thrill House, can you repeat your question? I'm sorry, I might have forgotten about you. Repeat your question really quick. I don't want to forget about you. Um, Taylor, 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 Taylor. Okay, I might have missed. Uh, Taylor, do you live at home? Um, mods, keep an eye out for, for Taylor. Um, and also for Thrill something something. Oh, thank you, Angry. Um, it's very hard. I was 45 when I told him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I told my family now I don't really have a relationship. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll wait for Taylor to come back. Um... Or if someone can just like let me know what Taylor says, because the comments are going so fast, I'm doing my best. I really, I'm not gonna let Taylor slip through. And Thrill House, thank you for reminding me. Because I wanna make sure everyone gets at least a little bit of time today, because I these matter so much more than me eating fries. Um, okay, so I've not seen Taylor, so I will wait for Taylor. Um, in the meantime, I identify as male, but the concept of they, them feels right. It confuses me, what do I do? Okay. Thrill House, can I ask you, what about, okay, how about this way? So the concept of being called, having they, them pronouns is appealing to you. Do you have any insight onto why? Or is it more that he, him pronouns strike you the wrong way? And if so, why? You know what I'm saying? Of course, mandolin. Good luck. Keep us posted. Come back. They, them doesn't make sense. It does, Jen. They, them. We use they, them pronouns all the time. Like, Lily went to the store. They're getting, they're coming back soon. Where'd they go? Where's Lily? Are they coming back soon? 
That's they, them pronouns. If you ever played Guess Who, you've used they, them pronouns. Um, like, oh, do they have a big, big afro? Do they have big ears? They got small nose? They, them. No, I, I am Lily and my pronouns are she, her, Jen. I, I, this is not a place to debate the validity of those things. Um, so Thrill, did Thrill get back to us? The, the comments are just going so fast. I'm trying my best to keep track. Mods, please, if you see someone I'm talking to in general and they talk, please do pin that comment. Um, but I can't figure out why. My work has started allowing people to put pronouns and they're English. That's what sparked it. Okay. Well, Thrill House, I, I suggest you think about it this way. I, from two angles. One, pr probably the easiest place to start is why is it, is it that they, them sounds interesting? Or is it that he, is it that he, him, you don't like? Like if you, or, or even she, her, right? Like how would it feel if someone said she? Actually, let's role play this. Thrill, tell me your name and we'll, we'll, we'll go through this, okay? Is they, them multiple people? No, no, it's not. It can be. But in the English language, they, them, they is, can be either one person or multiple people. If you're unsure of someone's gender, can you say they, them? 100% you can. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, I say we role play it out with Thrill. Um, Thrill, are you there? Can you give us a name to give it a shot with? Um, also, is Taylor still here? Glenn. Okay. So when I say the following, and I'm sorry if this sparks any gender dysphoria for you, but um, it is just to try and play, play it, t tease it out, okay? Glenn. Glenn. He went to the store today. He's coming back real soon. He is my friend. How does that feel versus Glenn? They're going to the store right now. They're coming back real soon. They are a cool, cool person. They are my friend. Which one feels better to you? Which one feels better? But I just say Lily. You would say she when you referred to me. If you didn't, it would be an issue. See that they just feels better. So what about the he? Um, does it feel like you're just not a he? What 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 is it about the he that um, that bothers you? Because Glenn. There might be some gender dysphoria and it might just be that you want they them pronouns uh, but it kind of gets at something larger which typically is going to point at like maybe someone who's non-binary i'm going to tell you the thing about being non-binary that is sometimes misunderstood non-binary is a huge spectrum of people being non-binary doesn't mean you're like completely androgynous right it doesn't mean that, um, you know, you have no gender, right? You can be more masculine in your presentation, but still not identify as a man. You can still go around and wear similar clothes to the ones you wear right now, and maybe even use the name Glenn, um, but just they, them pronouns. That's a very valid way to live. If you want Glenn, you could even just put they, them pronouns in your signature. You don't have to explain it to everyone, anyone. Um, just see how that goes. Tell, tell the people who you love to say they, them. Say how it goes. I'll call you they. Now, here's my next question. Your name is Glenn, but is there another name that would feel better? Like maybe one that is less masculine? Like, um, I don't know, River. That's a good like androgynous name. Or Taylor. One that could go either way in terms of gender, or um, Morgan is a good one. Are you still here, Thrill? I wanna make sure. Leo, sure. Weenie Hut Jr. says, if I introduce myself to someone as, Na oh, oh no, it went away. Can we repin that? Sure am. What about sure am? Wait, wait sure, okay. Are you, do you like the name Glenn? Do you like the name Glenn? Can we repin that one about the she, her? 
Robin, sure. My name's Kyle and I'm a female, hell yeah. If I introduce myself to someone as name, she, her, and the person just says their name, are they a bigot? It's possible. Um, it's possible. But it's not definite. I, I might push them on and be like, oh, and what are your pronouns? And see what they say. It's hard to say. As a trans person, I'm curious, do you ever question, is someone actually trans or not? I mean, if you say you're trans, you're trans, period. Um, there is no questioning. Once, once someone tells you, you don't question. You just are. All right. Anyways, I haven't seen um, our friend Glenn in a second. Also, Taylor, I haven't seen in a second. So, um, um, Of course, people can question of their own on their own time. But, like, if someone comes up and tells to me, hey, I'm trans. My pronouns are she, her. I would be like, cool. I wouldn't be like, are you sure? That's just terrible. Lily, how do I talk to my trans son about not being ashamed? He's being blank named. Oh my, this is a tough one. He's being blank named at school and bullied. Okay. Thick goth ma. Taylor is here. I'm sorry, Taylor. I've just been missing your comments. Um, after this, someone can pin Taylor just so we can get them back because I feel bad. I missed, I missed their comments a little bit. Um, okay. How old is your kid? Thick goth ma. Because that kind of plays into this. Because being bullied is no joke. I was bullied a lot. And it's very difficult. When do you feel it's right to disclose you're a transgender? What do you mean? I need more context on that. He's 11. Oh, my God. And his pronouns are he, him. 11-year-old um, trans kid. Oh, my God. Um... I'm going to tell you something, Thick Gothma. When I was 11, I was bullied beyond belief. For being myself. After, at like, 13, 14, I had to start pretending just to get away from it. Um, I didn't at 11. In retrospect, I wish that my parents had pulled me from school. Even though I wouldn't have understood it at the time. Even though bullying is just verbal, usually. I mean, it can be physical, but we'll say verbal for this case because we're talking about names and pronouns. It is so insanely damaging to a child to get bullied. Especially when it comes to their, their, um, their identity, their gender identity. It is devastating. To a kid. So first and foremost, Thick Gothma, I got you, Miss Blue. Next up. If you need to pull your kid, don't hesitate. There are ways to get this kid an education and get them socialized without being around bullies. That's your first and foremost priority is to protect your child because your child's unfortunately in a spot right now where permanent damage can be done. Permanent damage can be done. Beyond that, love and support them. Miss Blue says, I don't want to come off as a jerk. I just want to understand the they, them in my head is plural. Okay. Miss Blue, have you ever played Guess Who? Of course, they Kothma. That's my first question. Have you played Guess Who? I need to know because an example I have hinges on that. Hi there. I think you can probably take all of it. Was I, was, tea? Do you want some more hot water? I would love some more hot water. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, top. Thank you very much. Strawberries all day. Everything. I know, right? <laughs> that might have actually been. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. I'll there take you go. Okay. Did did you say yes? As Miss Blue said yes, I've played. Guess who? I'm so sorry, Karen. Um. I have a quick question. Okay, Kyle. Also, Kyle, I'm so sorry. I missed you sent $10. I saw it and I was like, I'm going to get to it. I didn't. Everyone <clears throat> say thank you to Kyle. $10 to add on to tip if that's okay. Yes, I will tip 20% plus $10. Thank you, Kyle. Oh, nice, Jennifer. 
All right, Miss Blue, I'm not seeing. Did Miss Blue say yes? I'm happy to explain it, but I just want to make sure that they're still here. Thank you, Kyle. Very sweet. Never re repay for what you've done for my son. Or forever is your lights. Oh, Ashley, you are so sweet. Thank you. That is just, I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. How can you be trans and non-binary? And also Kyle says, can a gender fluid person between uh, fluctuate between she, her, and he, him? The answer is yes. Um, I don't know very many gender fluid people that do that, but yeah, sometimes. I'm not sure how they like let you know on any given day. Elizabeth says, I'm curious, how can, can you be trans and non-binary? I will answer that. Thank you, Goldie. Um, so the idea of transitioning, what does that even mean? I'm getting my charger out and we're gonna reapply lipstick soon too. I was born assigned a certain gender and I'm no longer, I don't, I never identified as that gender really. And I transitioned from one to another, right? I was born, I was assigned. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Fresh out water. Got it. Thank you. And then we put the cream on the side. Ooh, is that stout? The, uh, the stout whipped no. cream? Okay, she perfect. Told me to tell you no. Perfect. Well, so. Thank you. So I just pour it on there? If you want. I will. Dip. Ooh, or dip. <laughs> yeah. I could do both. Enjoy. Thank you. You're All right. Um, I will, I will, okay, I will still explain they, them. Um, but let's start with the uh, non binary one and then we'll talk about they, them pronouns, okay? Um, I transitioned, right? I'm not non-binary. No one thinks I'm non-binary, right? We all know I'm a trans woman. I'm a, on the gender binary, okay? Think about the binary like, ooh, here's a good example. Here's a great example, y'all. Oh, I'm proud of this one. Okay. There's two ends to the binary. It's a scale, okay? There's the pink side, which is woman, and there's the blue side, which is man, right? We'll get to Mrs. Blue. I just didn't see her respond, okay? I was born and everyone said, hey, you're on the blue end of it. There's two options. You're on the blue end of it. And I actually said, ooh, no, 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 no. I'm not on the blue end at all. I am actually on the exact other end. Of the two options, I'm on the pink end. I am a woman. I always have been. So I had to transition from one side all the way to the other, okay? That's what it means to transition. I went from blue to pink. But... As this example suggests, there's a lot of room in the middle and there's also room above and room below. You can be born like I was on the blue end of things. And instead of going to the pink, you're, you may be transitioned somewhere into the middle, right? Where you say, I was assigned male at birth, like I was, but actually I don't identify with the pink end of, of it either. I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm non-binary. I don't adhere to the gender binary. That's what that means. Um, so you're still transitioning from one place to another. You're still trans. You're just not on the binary, AKA non-binary. That's it. Um, someone was asking about they, them pronouns. Um, they, them pronouns. We all use they, them pronouns every single day for each other. Trans or no. Um, Oh, is, uh, is George at the store right now? Yeah, yeah, George is at the store. Oh, cool. Could you tell him to get me some ketchup while they're there? Oh, is, um, is Sally out at the, uh, at the park right now? Yeah, Sally's out at the park. Oh, sweet. Um, I hope that they find my keys that I dropped when I was there. Right? Or, um, is, uh, Linda at the store right now? Yeah, Linda's at the store. Oh, cool. Um, I hope that they don't spend more than $100 because we're low on money, right? Like they, them pronouns are used for single people. Or you could say like um, Jan and Marie are out and about right now and they're getting back soon. You can use it for both. And I promise you that if you listen to everything you say, if you were to write down everything you said for a day, I would pay you money if you didn't oh, if you did not use they them pronouns for a single person at least once. I promise. Um, and Jen, I, I do apologize to say this, my friend, because I know that um, you mean well, but this is not a stream for people to argue with um, 
basic grammar, okay? They, them pronouns are both. George is at the store. I hope that they bring me back a sandwich because I'm hungry. Can you ask them to bring me back uh, an angel food cake? Uh, when are they getting back? They're getting back soon. Okay, cool. No, they're probably not going to be back for another hour or so. These, this is how we talk. Um, you could also say he. You could say George is coming back. He'll be back soon. But you could also say they'll be back soon. Right? A lot of times um, people say, oh, no, they, them pronouns are, are plural, only plural. So you're just going to call them what, they're gonna, what you're going to call them? Yeah, I'm going to call them what, they're, what I'm going to call them, which is using they, them pronouns right then and there. Right? Thank you, Brooke. Um, it, they is either plural or singular, singular whenever you want it to be. Period. I'm trying to learn and respect you. Well, Jen, I'm telling you what I'm, 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 te- I'm giving you the, the, the grammar lesson. I, I, I'm trying to be patient with you, Jen. I, it's, um, I, I want you to understand, but there is, I, I am explaining it, right? So either the example resounds with you or it doesn't. It is a pretty basic grammar thing. Um, you can look it up in any grammar textbook. They can be either plural or singular, either. That's it. That's it. Someone left their wallet in the bathroom. Yeah. Someone left their wallet in the bathroom. Their wallet. Ooh, it looks like... (laughs) Some... (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, someone left their wallet in the bathroom. That's a perfect one. If I used a person's specific name, George, I would say he. So, So if someone left their wallet in the bathroom and you don't know that that person's name is George, would you not say... Someone left their wallet in the bathroom. Someone left their laptop here. Is this anyone's? Someone forgot to pay their bill. Someone peed all over. Well, I guess it's got to be possessive. I really, I just wanted to say the word pee, I guess. Lily tried to answer you. Okay, Taylor, hello. I see you now, Taylor. Hello. Okay, so Taylor. Remind me of your question. Can someone remind me of Taylor's question? There. Yeah, they, them. Um, they, them, there. What was, was it? A tra- it was a trans thing. Oh, bi. You're bi. You're 22. And, okay, got it. Remind, I, I didn't see uh, full throttle. And everyone, keep an eye out um, for this person so I don't miss them again. Do you live with your family or no? Military family lives away till 2024. What is that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that is pinned. I might have might have missed something, but um, I don't like my ice cream out. It's not ice cream; it's cream. But I will eat it. Mm. That was good. It was very good. Um, do, yeah. Do you live at home, Taylor? You can just say yes or no. I have a question for you. Sure. If I caught you in a bathroom with my daughter, all hell would break loose. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you what. If I if I do end up in the same bathroom as your daughter, um, I'll tell you exactly what I would do. No, I don't. Thank you, Taylor. Um, I would go into the bathroom mind my own business, pee, exit the stall, wash my hands, and then leave. If you were to make trouble, the hell breaking loose, as you say, would be entirely your invention. Entirely your invention. Um, Okay, so you don't live with your family. That's good. And you're by. Okay. What do you anticipate, Taylor, that their reaction would be if you were to come out as bi to them. If you said, mom and dad, I'm bi, what would they say? Would they say, we don't believe it? Would they say, no daughter of mine is bi? What would they say? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, everyone. I'm trying to answer everyone. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything. Katie. Katie D. Oh, my. I definitely did miss a gift. Also, mods, please do... Um, pin 
Taylor. Um, um, Venmo and Cash App, Bailey. Thank you very much. Um, Katie, I'm so sorry I missed. Katie sent $20. Oh, my God. Appreciate you, heart. Everyone say thank you to Katie. Dang. That is so sweet. Um, no, no, Jen, you didn't offend me. It's just, look, as, as someone who you, we have, we've been through similar struggles. Um, it, it's one thing for people to come in and leave hateful comments. It's another thing for people to try and like disagree after having been here for a while. Right. Um, because it's very simple grammar and I just would hope that you would see reason. Uh, they're extremely Christian, and I feel like they disowned me. Love, Taylor. Okay. Huh. Okay. I'm going to tell you this much, Taylor. You cannot change your parents. You just can't. You can tell them that there's nothing wrong with being gay or bi, that you know, you could try and argue the Bible with them. There's plenty of things that you can look up on the internet to try and have that conversation. But at the end of the day, it sounds like you said, use the, the word extremely Christian, not just Christian, extremely Christian. It sounds like probably whatever you did, you would not change their mind about queer people. And that is incredibly sad. However, Just like any trans or queer person who's in the closet, which you are, living life for others is not worth it. It is not a life worth living if you are living your life for others. Why would you do that? Why live your life for others? You live for yourself. That doesn't mean you aren't kind and empathic. But you cannot sacrifice your own happiness because someone is going to judge you. That applies to everything in your life. You, Taylor, are in an unfortunate but sadly common position where you either stay in the closet, which is crushing, or you leave the closet. It is my very, very... Um, strong recommendation that you leave the closet. Your parents are going to do what your parents are going to do. You cannot change them, but you can live your truth. And I hope that you do. I'm almost 50 and I've just figured out I'm by. What do I do? Tell my life, my wife. I mean, Lee, do you still want to be with your wife? Because in theory, you're bi and you're still interested in your wife. Um, you could say like, hey, good news. I realized something cool about myself. I'm bi. I love you. Kiss. That's it. Um, maybe your wife would not be cool with that. Is that kind of what you're saying? I'll get to you, Maddie. Um, is that kind of what Lee is saying? Lee might be saying that. Um, I mean, if you're in a monogamous marriage, I, I, I always say that honesty and communication, even if it's a hard conversation is important. It is. Oh, Jade. Oh, I'm sorry, Jade. Um, just tell her you got to tell her it's an important thing. Um, even if you don't want the marriage open, even if you have no intention of ever, you know, being with someone other than her, you're in a marriage. You're best friends in theory. You tell each other everything. You support each other. She can support you through this, hopefully, if you tell her. Otherwise, it's just a secret that will fester. And it will be a source of unhappiness for you. So, say something. Um, thank you. Yeah, definitely tell her. Sorry. Um, there are so many good questions that are coming through. Someone said they wanted to buy a binder. They were afraid someone would find it. Look, um, if you're living at home, even if you're 
18 or older. Hi, Sasha. Um, if I send 500, is that good? I mean, you would have the record, certainly. It's up to you. I would love that. You would pay a good chunk of my rent this coming month. What is a binder? A binder is something that smushes down the chest so that when you wear a shirt, it's not like the thing that I'm currently trying to grow is the thing that this person is trying to hide and smush down, right? Because it's, it's gender euphoria to not have them. Um, the end goal, hopefully, would be uh, to not have them at all via top surgery, right? In theory. Um, but kind of like a halfway solution is called a binder. Um, but look, um, Jade, the person who asked that, if you are someone who you live at home, regardless of your age, and if you know your parents find it, they would be, it's one thing if they'd be upset, but it's another thing if you would then, if you would become um, unsafe, okay? If safety is an issue, you absolutely just don't get one, okay? Protect yourself and try to leave the house as soon as you can and buy one and keep it there. Safety over everything. Um, I'm not in a marriage, no. Also, Lee, I missed, I don't know if Lee, I know my mods are like both trying to like get all the nasty stuff out as well as um, pin help, put pin nice comments, but yeah, um, ser ser serial or serious, you can absolutely, you don't need to pay me for uh, for advice. You, I mean, you're welcome to, but um, there's also a few extra gifts that came through that I want to say thank you for. Um, Ashley, Ashley sent $5. Thank you so much, Ashley. Um, Ashley, what's your last initial? Actually, I don't know. Uh, $5 for, or enjoy lunch and dinner. I will. Thank you so much, Ashley. Uh, oh, Shannon. Hello, Shannon. All right, y'all. Stop the presses. Shannon. Hello, my friend. Are you there? They said, am I wrong for not supporting my kid being trans until they are old enough to understand it all? Got it. Shannon, are you still there? Because I am happy to um, speak to you about this. I'm happy to speak to you about this. Um, all right. Hello. Can I ask how old your kid is? And also uh, what, um, what gender identity they have come out to you as? Uh, this is, this, I will always prioritize conversations like this because um, they are so important to life of kids. I will always, always, always. Shannon is typing. And Shannon, uh, I'm, I'm like, mods, please keep an eye out for Shannon just so I don't miss it either. Uh, miss her either or them either. Um, it is so important. I'm trying to answer questions too. Thank you, Callie. Uh, maybe at some point soon. Um, anyways, I, I guess I'll, I'll keep an eye out for Shannon. But um, look, the thing that people who don't, necessarily know much about what it means to be trans. The thing that I see struggled with the most, Shannon, is the idea that you become trans or that you need to be old enough to understand if you're trans or not. Um, when we're born, we're either a boy or a girl, right? And you're given either boy clothes or girl clothes boy toys or girl toys, you're supposed to act like a boy or act like a girl, right? All these different things about gender that we're bombarded with from day one, right? Bombarded with. You know if you've been assigned male or female, boy or girl, as soon as you make memories, right? You know you're a boy, you know you're a girl, or at least you know that's what people think you are. The thing that people struggle with here is that the idea that you that that isn't necessarily always the right gender, right? I was assigned male at birth. They said, ooh, a P, great, boy. But really what they meant was, uh, oh, that, per that kid has a P, they're most likely going to be a boy. So Shannon, your kid has always been 
the gender that they're telling you that they are. And what's more, we can believe them as early as they tell us because gender is so omnipresent in our world, so everywhere that kids from an, a young age understand. Now, what is gender dysphoria, right? So as a kid, you might, you, you are able to feel feelings like I skinned my knee or someone called me a name on the playground. You can feel both physical and emotional pain, both of them. So if someone, if someone calls you like he, he, him says, Hey, you know, Hey guy, boy, you can understand even from an early age that, um, that's, that, that makes you feel bad. Right, you can understand that. Oh no, I, I, hi. Hey, sorry to bother. I was just wanting to have a secret place. Please do. Yeah. I would love to check, please. Yes. Sir. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, you can understand from an early age if you feel bad when you're gendered a certain way. So what I'm saying, Shannon, is your kid understands. Your kid understands. They're not asking to do surgery. They're not asking to do surgery. That's not, they're not asking to get mutilated. That's not what's happening here. All your kid is asking is for you to call them by the proper name and pronouns. I encourage, are, are you still there, Shannon? I just want to make sure. They want your love and support. Um, if you do not support your child, Shannon, if you reject, so if your child tells you who they are, and you reject them, you cause irreversible trauma to your child. So much so that if you continue to reject them for who they are, and make no mistake, they know. They know. Many trans people know from four or five years old. Many. Thank you so much. Many, many do. It doesn't change. It's not a difficult thing to understand for a kid. If you reject your child for who they are or refuse to like allow them to use a certain name or certain pronouns before they reach a certain age, not only do you do irreversible trauma to them, you risk losing them either from your life or from the world. And I mean that. My most recent video, which I posted earlier today, I encourage you to go watch it. There is someone on the stream in your exact, almost your exact same position who said, thank you, thank you, Taylor. I, I so appreciate that. I'll, I'm gonna shout you out in just a second once I'm done with this. There was a person who came in and said, my friend is transitioning and their parents don't support them. How do I help? And I gave some advice, but I got a message last night from the same person that said, um, that person that I was telling you about, the one that their family didn't support them, they are no longer here. They couldn't take it. They could not handle getting rejected by their parents. So you now know the stakes, Shannon. You need to know that it is a very real thing that happens all the time that when parents reject their kids, they might not be here. They might, they might not. Certainly, they might not be in your life. So it's up to you. Are you going to protect your child and support them or are you going to reject them? It is that simple of a choice. Take it from me that they understand their gender identity. I promise they understand. And they're also not asking for any drastic change. They're not asking to get rolled into the, 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 the OR tomorrow morning. They're not. They're just asking for your support in calling them the right name, the right pronouns, and, and really protecting them from a pretty evil world. Oh, thank you. I don't have Zell one love. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, Shannon, I hope that helps. I really hope that helps. If you have any more specific questions, let me know. But um, I really, really hope that helps because we're talking about a life either making it or not making it. And it is 100% in your hands. I hope you understand that. 100% in your hands, Shannon. Good luck. Okay. 
um, a few very generous gifts. Taylor. Taylor, we love you. Our 22-year-old by lovely Taylor. Good luck, Taylor. Taylor sent $10. Thank you very much. That is so sweet. Oh, Taylor sent another $10. Oh, wow. The first message said, thank you for the advice. The second one says, message my mom saying we need to talk. Yes. Yes, Taylor. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, that makes me so happy. Shout out to Taylor. That is so great. Taylor messaged their mom saying, we need to talk. Yeah, we do. Yes. Love it. Rocio Diavilla says, can you be considered bi if you prefer one gender more than the other? Yeah. Yeah. Although that might all technically fall in the omni bucket yeah. but like yeah i mean look i say i'm a lesbian even though technically i'm i'm also like willing to date non-binary people it's a it's an easy to understand thing i think technically it means omni but yeah thank you so much Lily. i feel i understand it a lot better now yes shannon good luck i hope i hope it all works out well for you you have the power to save your kid's life i'm so happy you came i'm so happy you were honest about how you were feeling i'm so happy so happy. This is good, y'all. Can I explain Omni? I'm not even totally sure about Omni. Is Ollie here? Ollie knows more about Omni than I do. Uh, it is my understanding that Omni is basically just bi, but with a preference to one or the other, I think. Thank you, Omni. Um, that was very wholesome. Ollie left. That's all good. He's got two kids, so makes sense. What do you say we reapply some lipstick, y'all? What do you say? I need to go and hang out with Katie. I'll use the old one. I'm waiting for this one to run out. I pulled my son from school for being misgendered. Be your child's friend, fr be your child or friend's advocate always. Yep. Always. All right. Take it easy, Parker. Enjoy. Enjoy your vacay or your trip. Trying to see what finds out with Taylor. I hope, I hope Taylor comes back and tells us because Taylor deserves, deserves the best. Also, someone else sent a gift. Renee or Renea, R-E-N-E-A. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm going to say Renee sent $5. Thank you, Renee, um, for your lives, friend. Thank you very much. That is so sweet. Um, Taylor says, love you, Lily. I really needed the push, and I love everyone's support. That's what we do here, y'all. That's what we do. Congrats, Taylor. You've, you're on your way. It would be a safety issue if I bought it. Then don't buy it, Jade. Safety is number one. It's sad, but like, bide your time until you can get out of the house. Yeah. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Thank you, Renee. Bye, Kaganella. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. Um, I got my card. We'll just give it to the server when she gets back. Uh, what is genderqueer? Genderqueer is a pretty uh, broad term that um, just kind of means your gender is not, not factory settings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, I would consider myself genderqueer. Um, queer, queer is a broad term. Maybe someone can, can help say more than that, but yeah. Oh my gosh, Lori, thank you. Hold on. Let me put this back. Oh my God, y'all are so sweet. Hello, Mickey. Thank you. I'm just going to put on some lipstick really quick, and then I will say thank you. Not factory setting, exactly. What would happen if I got drafted? I don't think the military wants me, y'all. My dad served for like 20-something years. Not only is my back like basically broken, uh, I sleepwalk in like the worst percentile in the entire world. I have night terrors like no one believes. And I'm also um, a, you know, someone on the internet that would do nothing but fight it. And they would probably know that. <laughs> As a military kid, I know all too well what military life is. Um, you know, it got me to where I am today because my father served, but um, yeah. My son came out on Tuesday as Pan. How do I protect him from all the ugliness in the world? Let me answer that as soon as I put on this lipstick. Oh, no, out of bounds. There we go. 
no makeup remover wipes in the wild, y'all. Hi again. Thank you. One sec. I need to bring in a pack of those Neutrogena wipes all over. Girl, stop gatekeeping that top. I don't even know what that means. I think it's like a fun jab uh, and a compliment, I think. <laughs> Oh, you want where it's from. Oh, cider, cider, cider. <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, what does that even mean? Cider. All right. Oh, God, I, I cannot apply lotion for today. Also, this lipstick is like almost gone anyways. And we, I'm so sorry, user 82. You cannot post numbers like that. Uh, because um, that is against the rules of this app. All right, close enough. I'm going to... Um, okay, so the person, how do you protect your kid from the ugliness? And Rachel, Jessica, I'll get to you in a second. Oh my God. Sorry, a little bit more. Hold on. Also, someone else sent a gift, I think, and I missed it. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask. Hold on. Uh, do the poutine tots, y'all. Poutine tots. Eight bucks, happy hour. You won't be disappointed. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, my 15 year old son, he's. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. One. You too. You Said he's Polly. How should one react? With love and unwavering support. Okay, I'm back. With love and unwavering support. Um, someone also said to the effect, like, my kid came out as Pam. How do I protect them from the world? Uh, it's not easy. Uh, if they're a kid and they're in school and you need to pull them out of school, do not hesitate. It is an ugly world out there and bullying is permanent damage uh, that you cannot turn back. Can someone explain Pan? Yes. So the basics of Pan is hearts, not parts, where... You're attracted to people not based on what gender they are, like man or woman, or in my case, feminine or masculine, um, but who they are inside. Hearts, not parts. That's what pan means. Um, also, someone else talked about, sorry, there's so many questions that came through. We talked about, talked about Polly, talked about pan, um, talked about poutine. Uh, boo, 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 boo. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, my parents do, uh, and I have a great relationship. Oh, what's ace? Um, okay, thank you. Yeah, ace. So a ace, asexual. Um, it means that, look, it's a spectrum, but, um, oh no, your mods blocked me. I'm a scooter and, okay. Can we get um, Scooter? Well, we're probably going to end it, end it anyways. Lori, I want to say thank you. Who uh, Lori sent a Venmo. That's so sweet. Oh, thank you, Lori. Lori sent $10. Blessings on your journey. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. Everyone say thank you to Lori. I'll explain Ace in a second. And then Haley said, hi, Lily. Your mods blocked me. I'm Scooter and Dottie. I watch you daily. All I said was yes. And toot. It's toot and do the pigs if y'all wouldn't mind taking a look at that uh, mods. But we're, we're almost going to end anyways. If you're, I don't know if they're just muted or, or blocked, but I'll take a look afterwards. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Haley. Um, I'm going to tip really quick. Oh, and, and Kyle added an extra 10, right? So 10 plus uh, uh, 22 bucks, I think, is about right. Um, that's going to bring it up to 79.30. Sorry, I said it out loud. I said it out loud. That was, 
Oh, um, Amy, you do not need the last four of my phone number. You can just, there's a little button that is kind of hard to see that says, actually just skip this step and you can do that. Um, okay, so what is asexual? Asexual means that you're not really into the physical as much um, or at all. It's a spectrum. So sometimes people are gray ace. You could say gray ace where like maybe sometimes, but not always. Like Ollie, who's one of our head mods, kind of put it this way where the metaphor is like cake. You put a piece of cake in front of me, I'm into it. I love cake. I love cake. Any day. I'm usually in the mood for cake. Um, and an ace person, an asexual person, you know, might not be so excited about cake. Or maybe if someone they really like makes them a piece of cake and offers it to them, they might oblige because they love that person and they want them to feel loved. And, you know, what if I only want cake by myself? That's also totally valid. Um, but that's, that's like the basics of what it means to be ace. Um, and it's different for everyone. It's not just like you are or you aren't. There's a lot of in the middle as well. The difference between bi and pan, pan means hearts, not parts. Bi still is based on gender, where you're interested in men and women, whereas a pan person, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you're not in, it, the, the gender part of it doesn't really play in. Um, all right, that made me laugh. It's a sweater too. Um, all right, y'all, I need to go and cuddle with my girl. So I'm going to go do that. It actually doesn't apply to buy. Um, by definition, that is not what buy means. Uh, buy means you're attracted to two different kinds of people based on gender, as opposed to pan, where that's not a relevant thing that you assess people on. Scooter and Dottie is unblocked. Yes. Thank you, Goldie. Thank you so much. Scooter and Dottie, heck yeah. Thank you, Mod Squad. I would like, before we go today, to shout out my Mod Squad. My mods are so freaking good. My mods are so freaking good. I love y'all so much. I don't say it enough. Honestly. Honestly. Thank you. Shout out to the mods. And my trains. Toot, toot. Toot, toot. Chugga, 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 chugga. Toot, toot. It chugga, 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 chugga. I am trains and I am also trans. Uh, one last gift that just came through, or maybe not the last gift, I don't know. I always stall before I get off because I do love streaming. New merch idea, trains. I'm a trains girl, yeah. Um, Amy. Amy. Oh, this is a sweet message. Uh, Amy M says, you are truly amazing. You are such an inspiration. Please spread that amazing light as much as you can. I will. Thank you for being you. Thank you. And thank you, Amy. Amy sent $30. Dang. Thank you. That is so sweet of you, Amy. Everyone say thank you to Amy. Dang. We need a new show, Trans on Trains. I'd do it. What if I just like go on those diner cars and we eat on trains? Trains on trans. Trans on trains? Trans girl on trains? I don't know. But thank you, Amy. There you are, Amy M. I appreciate it. Oh, Y'all, you are so sweet. Not, not a moment later. Trinity. What a cool name. Trinity. Matrix is one of my favorite movies. Tr By the way, if you didn't know, The Matrix is about being trans. Uh, Trinity, are you there? Uh, Trinity M said, love you you with two eyes and then a double smiling smiley face and they sent $20 dang thank you trinity that is so sweet thank you trin oh there you are trin Mwah. thank you trin y'all y'all took this day which was you know there was it was an intense day transportation yeah <laughs> it's an intense day um but i think overall good day even though it was um emotional and kind of tough in some places but um Thank you, everyone. Hi, Kai Westbrook from England. We need a fancy date. I agree. I agree. Hi, everyone. Am I eating at Frank's Diner? No, and I've never heard of Frank's Diner. Uh, we're at a place called... Eh, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, y'all. I love you. Uh, today is... Oh, my God. Y'all are going to keep me on this stream forever if you keep sending these generous gifts, y'all. Stephanie. I'll give Stephanie a second to get back from the cash app. 
Um, thank you. Uh, today is Monday. I have to stay forever. Well, Stephanie uh, is certainly uh, is keeping me. She sent, or they sent, sorry, I don't know, pronouns, I'm not, I don't want to assume. $5, new to your TikTok, you are amazing. Keep being you, heart. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, love you. Uh, when's the next live stream? Thank you, Nicole. Yep, there you are. Thank you, Stephanie. Everyone say thank you to Stephanie. They just messaged. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, the best. You the best. She, her. Thank you for clarifying. Um, today is Friday. T tomorrow is not Monday. Tomorrow is Saturday, and then Sunday, and then Monday after that. I will be back on Monday. I stream Monday through Friday if you're new. Uh, typically around this time, like 2 p.m. Pacific-ish. Um, but if you really want to know exactly when I'm streaming, uh, I have a Discord server. And the way to get on the Discord server, which is basically just like, you know, there's a bunch of channels. There's where I say when I'm going to be streaming. There's chat channels, all sorts of different stuff. Um, it's five bucks a month on Patreon, patreon.com. Patreon.com slash Lilitino. Or you can subscribe on TikTok, and then you can also get to the Discord for there. Uh, it's 10 bucks a month on, on TikTok. But uh, it's just a way to, like, be more in the loop about what the streams are going to be every day. Um, and also to get more in with the community. If you want to, like, meet more lovelies, like, meet our mods, meet all the wonderful people on the server. It's a very, like, supportive place. Especially if you're someone who, you know, is looking for a bit more community and a bit more friendship and positivity in your life. It's a good thing to do. Even if you've never used Discord before, we can help you. Um, just message me if you have any issues. Um, anyways, thank you, everyone. I will have a wonderful time with Katie. Um, I will be back on Monday for another stream, hopefully just as lovely as this one. Um, yeah, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>